Hi, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be demonstrating how to crochet the mall stitch. Uh, on this tutorial I will be doing, I will be demonstrating how to crochet the mall stitch plus while we're at it we're going to be uh, pointing out how to pull. Pulling pull. So um, what I did is, I didn't want to go and buy yarn. I went to my basement and grabbed this yarn that I had that I bought it at Walmart a couple of years ago and I said okay well this looks like it can be pulled why not let's try it so what I did is <clears throat> I grabbed from the dark from the dark green and I, cr I crocheted chains chains uh, about so I started from the dark green, and the dark green is around here. And I chained all the way, all the way. Okay, let me just show it here. <clears throat> so I started here, and I chained. So I did one, one repeat of the chain. I didn't count my chain, I just uh, chained it loosely, and I did second came to the second green and I came to the third green and I said I'm done because up to here it's 33 inches when I do three greens so one two three, actually four when I start with the green and I just uh, randomly started to do uh, one single crochet, one chain, skip one chain, and then go to the next chain and do another uh, single crochet, chain one, and then skip one, and then ch and then do a single crochet, and I went all the way back. So I chained from here and I went back here and I started my um, mall stitch, just like that. And then what I did is, so I'm going to show you demonstrating just only one, starting from one dark green to the next green. So I'm going to pick my green, so just to give you an idea how it will look like. And then I think it turned out pretty good. And I used one entire ball to crochet this. this uh, so it's about, I used one entire ball. And I did four greens, chained four greens. It's about 33 inches long, just to give you an idea. Uh, actually, it's 35 inch. Yeah. We go back here. It's up down to 35 inch long. So it's pretty long. So I want to make a baby blanket with this and see how it goes. You can even make a cardigan with this. Why not? Just to show you how it works out. So. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pull this back, and I'm going to, and now what I did, I used a couple of different size uh, crochet hooks. I'm grabbing my uh, five millimeter crochet hook, which is uh, USH, and I like this pointy, I like this pointy, just to give you an idea. I like the crochet hook, how it looks like, and uh, I'm just going to chain loosely. So I'm just going to grab from my dark green, which is here, just starts after the white. I'm going to start from here, and I'm just going to chain loosely, and then we will go from there. So far I have chained, so I started from the dark green, and I came to the next dark green. So this is going to be a small just to show you how it's done. It's very easy. People, oh, I watched so many, so many tutorials. I went into uh, different groups and everyone was saying it's so hard, it's so hard. But no, it's not actually. You just need to find a trick. So this one is about, this is a small one, so it's about 13 inches long. And, uh, so we're going to just start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip 
either. So like I said, I'm going to be using uh, small needles to fit in. And I will show you how it's done as we go ahead. Because you need to play around with, with this. And it's really fun. I can assure you it is really fun. And I just loved it. I just I just knit, knit that after 8 p.m. I started. And I finished the whole entire ball before I went to bed. Okay, so I'm just going to do a single crochet. I skip two, chain. And, here, and you just do it as loosely as you can. Just like this. And I'm going to chain one. And what I do is I'm going to skip one chain and I'm going to the next sec uh, next following chain. I do apologize. I have a little bit of cold and my my nose is running. So I do apologize for my voice. Okay. And I'm going to chain another one loosely and I'm going to go to the next skip the next chain and do a single crochet on the following. And this is all to it for this first row chain one skip one chain and this is how we start the moss stitch so we're gonna do this pulling using the moss stitch technique with the moss stitch you can do anything you want you can do ripples you can do chevrons baby blankets anything using the moss stitch and I just love how it looks like okay so skip one chain and go to the next one nice and loosely chain one skip one chain and go on and continue like this so I'll meet you at the end okay so what I did is I crocheted all the way to the end but I started a new color so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna frog this another one because I'm gonna chain two this is how you start. You don't have to do one row of the one start from the one green to another green. You can do, you can repeat this two, three, like I did it four times. That's how long I have this one. So you can repeat it as long as you want. So I chained one. I'm going to chain another one loosely. And I'm going to turn my work. So here, on the, between the chain, I'm going to loosely make a single crochet. And then I'm going to chain one, and this is how you. This is the moss stitch. So I'm going to jump here where I did the chain, and I'm going to loosely make one chain one, two. Okay, as you can see, I'm going to make it looser because uh, I'm going to start with the uh, cream color. So I'm going to try to make this as loose as I can to create that uh, to come to that color so try to make it as loose as you can don't worry the end result is fantastic I just love how it turned out okay hmm, I think this is too loose yeah, what I'll do is I'm just gonna go back you just need to play around with it so, chain one, go to the next one, okay, and then chain one, okay. So we're starting with the cream, and then I'm going to go come here. So one, chain one between, and go to the next chain, chain one, and this is how you do the moss stitch. So you just play around with it, try to make it as loose as you can. Sometimes we need to crochet tight to catch up with the color. But the second row is not important, just try to follow. And then we'll see how it's going to end here. Just play around with it just like this. Okay, so this is how it looks like so far. So the third row is very important when we come back. Okay, so you can see I'm going to have the white. 
So what I want to do is, I want to finish this and I want to start with the white. So I need to tighten this. So I need to tighten it. I can use a smaller needle so that would be no problem so you just switch to make it tight and you can if you know how to make it tight and go ahead just change crochet hooks get grab my smaller crochet hook to tie to, to give that to fit that all I hope it's gonna fit I don't know it might not fit oh, we'll see what's gonna happen no it's not gonna fit okay so let's see what can we do I might start with the beige then. The beige color, the cream color. Yeah, it didn't work, so that's okay. Nothing to worry about. So chain two. And my other oopsie. My that created lots of noise. <laughs> okay, so I chain one, second turn my work. And I am going to, and I forgot to chain one here. Okay. So go back. Two. Turn to work. So. Okay, what we're doing is, now what we're going to do is, we're going to watch to the bottom. Okay, I was sp supposed to start with the green color. So this didn't work. So what? Yeah. Mm. Here, here, I was supposed to start with the green color. Just underneath, you can see. So we're going to skip one. And then here, right here, I'm, I was supposed to start with the green color. So this didn't work out. To, to get to that green color, I just have this much. So I'm going to try to waste all this yarn. So I'm going to unravel. I'm going to frog all the way here and grab my big crochet hook and crochet as loosely I, as I can to start with that green color over there. So just try as loose, crochet as loose as I can. Just like this. And this is how we do the moss stitch. Okay, so chain two, turn my work. And I still have this much yarn left. So, um, I still need to play around. What I can do is, I'm going to show you another trick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump here, like doing a puff stitch, okay, and pull it. And when you pull it, you see the single crochet here. And this is another trick to get rid of that much yarn. So I'm going to start with the green yarn. So the green yarn, I'm skipping one and I'm going to, so it's going to go slanting this way. I hope you can understand. It's hard to explain. But I, I found out how to do pulling, and this is how you crochet, nice and loosely. One chain, go to the next chain, single crochet. And this is how you do the moss stitch. Okay, so... Yeah, this didn't work. I w I'm supposed to be making a single crochet here with the white, so I need to get rid of this uh, this much yarn. To do that, I'm just going to play another trick, just like I showed you. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to just like doing a single crochet, and I'm going to go yarn over. And I'm going to pull, like doing the puff stitch, 
and I'm going to pull it once and when you pull it once you just see the single crochet here okay another one okay maybe I may need to make a, uh, two more and this is how I got rid of the green see <laughs> I'm sure you couldn't see those on the big one that I showed you earlier because it disappears so I'm gonna do two whites nice and loosely chain one go to the next one nice and loosely chain one and I'm starting with the beige so I'm coming here so I'm skipping this one and I'm slanting towards the left side and I'm going to do a single crochet. Okay, and I have to finish the beige just right here and start 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 the white one here. Where's my white? Oh, no. Uh, yeah. I need to start the green here, just here, just here. So the green starts here. So I need to start the green here. I need to figure out to get rid of all this yarn and then start with the green. So I'm going to continue crocheting nice and loosely. And this is the trick. You're going to frog it a lots of time to use different crochet hooks to tighten. You're going to have it loosened a lot of times or you're going to do show what I, the trick that I showed you. Okay. And here we go. So I'm going to start with the green here. And then this is all to it. And this is the trick. And loosely. So just grab it from here. One, two, chain, turn your work. So I see the white here. So I'm gonna, I'm supposed to start the white. So I need to do two here. So I'm just gonna start the white here. So two, I don't have enough green, so I'm going to unravel and then frog it and I'm going to try to tighten it so I, I would have enough green. So like I said, you just need to play around with it. That's all to it. Okay. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, two chain, turn your work. Okay, I have this much yarn now. So I'm going to go and then ta-da! See? <laughs> it's so exciting. I just love it. So I'm going to do my white here. And then I'm going to do my next white. So this is how you do the pulling. It's so easy and fun. And it's already starting. See, it's slanting this way. So let's come back to the one that I did before. Okay, uh, let me see if I can find it, huh? I'm trying to figure out my whites. Where are my whites? I think it's here. It's right here. This is here we are. See? So this is how it's going to look like. Further. So the greens are going to come up here just like this oh I love it it's so fun I just wanted to share you the short tutorial uh, using the moss technique and it's really fun you just so play around use different crochet hooks you just slant it and then you create this gorgeous graphic this design and I'm sure you can make lots of things with it is the back so this is how the moss stitches so on the next step you continue crocheting like this as long as you want you just play around with it but don't forget you need to have enough yarn to start like we started the white here right so 
then you continue crocheting with the beige and you need to uh, so you look at the beige and you need to start the green here just here so you skip this row and then you go below second row. You always follow the second row because the reason why we're following the second row is we're slanting towards this way. And then when we're turning our work, we always follow the second row to slant our work this way again. So it's like back and forth and back and forth. And then we create this design. And I'm going to show you. So I finished this yarn. And I wanted to add my second ball. To do that, <clears throat> what I need is I need to start with white. So I'm going to grab my yarn and try to figure where is the white. Hmm. Sometimes you need to cut your cut your yarn. Okay, let's find this. Yeah, all of them starts with beige. I looked at this ball, it starts with a beige. Okay, to start with the white, I need to follow with the white. And the following is a green. So if I look at this, it is white, beige, green. So I look at it, it looks like the way the yarn was pulled out, this is the opposite. So. I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to grab another ball. Okay, this one. I grabbed another ball. So this one is so white. It's supposed to be white, beige, green, white, beige, cream. <clears throat> so I have white, green, white, green. It's going the opposite. Okay. You have to be careful with your yarn when you're joining. Okay, so this one, the one that I have is, this one is green, <coughs> green, white, beige. See, green, green, white, beige, green. So this is the perfect one. So what I'm going to do is, <coughs> this is how we start, right? So I need to attach this yarn to this. And then starting with the white, just like this. So this is supposed to this is how it's supposed to be. Oopsie. So when we add these, this is sorry about that. My memory card just died on me. So okay, so I just I was just showing how to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna clip this yarn and I'm gonna start from here. And to do that, I will just grab my needle. Okay, just need this needle, and then I'm gonna go just like this. I'm not gonna make a knot. I did show this on my previous tutorials, so I'm just gonna go here just like this I don't make don't make knots anymore I just use this trick to join the two yarn when I'm done with my okay and then I'm just gonna go just like this okay so I'm gonna pull it can use this trick okay so this is where my white starts just right here just like this okay and I can hide this no problem at all so and this is how I join it see so I can clip this I don't need this this is uh, this is extra yarn. I usually don't waste yarn, but for the pulling, there's no other choice. <laughs> okay, so clip that yarn, and I'm just going to continue crocheting just like this. And uh, so I just grab my crochet hook, and I'm pulling, right? So to do the pulling, I start with the, see the green is here? The green is here, my dog, 
She has a cone on her head. She had an operation on her leg. She's she's having a hard time getting used to it. So this is one of the uh, moss stitch that I did the single crochet. And here I started the next one, just like this. So it's good slanting to the left side. And I'm just crocheting just a regular nice and loosely chain one. Go to the next chain, single crochet, chain one. And then, so I'm, I'm supposed to start the white here. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen. So I'm chaining, I still have enough yarn. So I'm going to go yarn over. I'm going to use that trick that I showed you earlier. I'm just going to pull that at once. Ta da! I'm going to chain one. And I'm starting the white. Chain one. And then I see I don't have enough white, so I need to tighten this. Just a little extra. Because I didn't have enough white to make this next single crochet. So you need to play around with it. It's like playing a game. Let's see what else can I do. So I'm coming here and it's not working. So I need to do this as tight as, as tight as I can so I would have enough white yarn. Ta da! See? Looks like a single crochet. I'm going to chain one tightly and I'm going to make a single crochet here just like this and hide that. Chain one. And then make the next single crochet. Ta-da! See? I pulled. So I'm done. And I'm starting with the big cream here. See? Just like that. Single crochet. So this is a short tutorial on how to crochet the pool says uh, to the moss stitch and how to pull with it, how to do the pooling using the moss stitch technique. I hope this tutorial helped you out. It's very easy and simple. It looks like hard at the beginning. I had a hard time. I couldn't understand what people were saying when I was reading. And when I was watching, I still couldn't understand. So I said, forget it. I'm going to sit down and work myself. And this is on the first try. I still did it. And it's very easy and fun. So you just need to watch what you're doing. There's just simple techniques. Try to use different sizes of crochet hooks. Use that method that I just showed you doing the puff stitch. And just play around with it, tighten it, fro on, uh, frog it, go back. And it looks fantastic, doesn't it? And you don't see even the puff stitch when you look at it. Because the single stitch, when you pull it, it shows a single stitch. And this is how you do it. Thank you very much for uh, thank you very much for watching my tutorial. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends and happy crocheting.